other people's opinion about you is not your business. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, um, today it is March 26th and it's like almost 3 o'clock, probably like 2.50. Um, and I just decided that I want to um, kind of like save this day and be a little bit productive, go outside. And I got my hair done yesterday. So I'm like, you know, let's get cute. So I don't want to stay in the house today. Um, today is Friday. So I am going to go to the park and read my Bible, journal a little bit. Um, I may stop by the store and get like a coloring book and color in that. Um, I'm going to eat before I go to the park instead of having like a little picnic. Because I, I don't want to wait that long to drive to the park. Go get something to eat. Drive, oh, well, go get something to eat. Drive to the park and then set up. And then have that food just sitting in my face. And then it get cold. I don't want to do all that. So I'm going to eat before I go. Um, um, I had bought a speaker and it came in today so I'm gonna bring that speaker in and play my gospel for all to hear so I got my hair done yesterday and yesterday I got my hair done yesterday morning my appointment was at 10 o'clock and then that night I went to a gospel concert it was literally so amazing um it was Tasha Cobbs it was Tamla Man Natalie Grant and Katie Tallward or is it Torwalt Torwalt so I can't really say her last name all that good but it was those four ladies it was an amazing concert. It was honestly more than just a regular concert. Like, it was an experience that you will not get from a secular concert that talk about drug, sex, and money, and loneliness, and this and that, and the third. It was amazing. It was straight up just about God. We were in unity. It was powerful. Um, it's one thing to see many, many ages, many different people with different backgrounds, um, with different ethnicities. Stop focusing. Um... It was just really, it was really amazing. It was different age groups. It was old people, young people, middle-aged people. Like, it was just all, you know, amazing. I didn't record. I should have recorded. I did not record. Um, I did get a couple of, um, of videos up on my phone, so I'm going to insert those clips and pictures um, in just a second for y'all to see since I didn't record it. But if you want to see a more detailed, more structured, um, in order, more of like a vibe situation, go to my TikTok because I have... Uh, I'm going to make a TikTok about it. I haven't made it just yet, but I'm sure once this video like does drop and upload, that TikTok will have already been up by now. So yeah, go to my TikTok, check out the video, check out my TikTok, and follow me on there. Also, follow me on Instagram as well. I'm going to show you my outfit for today. My room is a little bit clean, but... Okay, folks. So I just got on this black bodysuit. I got on these jean shorts from Shein. This belt is from Shein, too. And... And then these sandals are from Shein as well. So this is the fit. And then I got on these blue light glasses. I'm more like, um, let's have a design. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah. But I got these glasses from Amazon. It came in two. And I had I got a clear pair. I got a clear pair as well. But I don't know where it is. Anyway, let's just roll to the concert. But this is the quote of the day, okay? She said, 
Other people's opinion about you is not your business. Other people's opinion about you is not your business. It is not your business to know or to even care about what people think about you, what people think about how you look, how you sing, how you dance, how you walk, how you talk, how you act. So I wrote it down in my notes and I just wanted to share that with y'all because that really blessed me. Um, that other people's opinion about you is not your business. Like that's just so good. I just wanted to share that. But I'm about to listen to my tunes. This song is called Choosing Myself Still Alone by Naomi Rain. And this um this lady was at the concert yesterday. She sung. Say that you choose me. Cause I'm choosing happy, the real me. I don't have my highlighter. I have my paintbrush water pen. So there's water down here in the squeezy. Yeah, yeah. My pencil. Um, I kind of want to scoop back a tad bit. Because I'm on this hill. I'm going to scoop back. I'm going to rearrange everything. Give me a sec. <laughs> I will start to um, water paint in this book. 
I tell y'all a, a little bit about the book. If you've seen, like, if you looked at the book when I picked it up in Dollar Tree, I had showed it on the camera. You probably know what it's about, but I explain it when I get to it. But right now, I'm about to read the Bible. I am reading out of First Kings, um, and I'm starting at one. So First Kings one and one. Um, yeah. <laughs> about David right now. I think I got out here around 5.30 or something like that. Or maybe 4 o'clock. But I'm about to leave and pack up all my things. So I'm going to end this video right here. So y'all stay blessed. Never be blessed. And I'll see you in my next video.